Hey, hello everybody, I'm the one the man and welcome back to the Minecraft playthrough series. Last episode, we set up some power in the work area. And in this episode, I'm going to make some more machines and hopefully do things like this sign says. So I'm going to make a magma crucible and a fluid transposer and I'm also thinking of an aqueous accumulator and what the last thing, igneous extruder. So yeah, by the way this sign is from Bibliocraft, it's really cool, you can customize it with a lot of things, so that's pretty cool. And I also want to make endstone for the ender lily seed I have. So it grows a little bit faster. So that's neat. I'll take this. Really customize it. It's really cool. See? So, right. Let's get right to it. All the machines that I'm going to make is from uh, Thermal Expansion. So I'm going to use some uh, basic machine frames to create them. And I'm going to make the magma crucible, the fluid transposer, the igneous extruder, and the aqueous accumulator. So here's all the recipes. I need four of these, two of these. Uh, a lot of glass. Also going to need to make invar. Reception coils, which is gold. Right. So here we go. I'm going to make a lot of things. I'm going to take about that much. That much. I also have glass on me. Take a piece of a piece of more coal. How does one make Inva? I think it's the combination of ferrous and iron. I'll put this into alloys mode. I probably got the proportions wrong, but whatever. So right now I am making the basic frames. this. That's the basic frames. I need... Oh. Uh, not those. Copper gears. Those I also need quite a bit of. So, copper gears, I need six of those, I think. So, six copper gears, machine frames. I'm also going to need, what was it? These pneumatic servos. Those I'll need two of. even craft some of the machines right now. I think I can make the aqueous accumulator if I made bucket. I'll need two. Uh, let me do this real quick. Aqueous accumulator like this. Only one though. And also, I want the igneous extruder, and that is a piston. So, there, there, uh, there we go. Uh, 
like that. No, how was it? Oh, right. It was Kovic Gears and Glass. So, Aquas Accumulator, Ignis Extruder. I'll explain these when I get to set the machines up. So, now I'm going to use the Invar. Okay. Uh, make two Invar Kias. I'll do this real quick. Induction. Mama Crucible. I need another break. Which is this in here. Furnace mode go. I also need a leadstone energy cell, which is lead, glass, and redstone. Only thing I need on me is lead. Like that. Do I have enough glass? Yes, I do. I'll do this real quick. Bum bum bum. Leadstone energy cell. So I'll it was I was gonna I need that that reception coils. That was it. Just one moment while I kill this Enderman. Yep, there we go. And then I need the fluid transposer. Make it as machine crafting fluid transposer. Can I just? Yes, I can. Oh, that was a lot of crafting. In a short period of time. So I'll just put all these back. This holds the place there. So. Where did it go? I need so yes. So the magma crucible and the fluid transposer works together like this. I'll just clear out the things here. This is getting power. So the magma crucible takes an item and melts them into a liquid form like snow to water, pyrothium, uh, glowstone to liquid, all these. And the fluid transposer takes any form of liquid and can put them into a container or do some uh, crafting with them. That's a lot of recipes. Oh, that's a lot of recipes. And I, I don't really want to scroll through all those. So, one of the things that you can do is uh, put stone in here with an ender pearl, and it'll turn into a uh, end stone. And I'll do that real quick. I also want to put down the igneous extruder because this machine doesn't use any power. However, it uh, uses lava and water to create obsidian, stone, or cobblestone. I will use this for obsidian though. So. Let's see, like this, I think. It will now take a redstone signal to be activated. 
I actually have a lever to test that. But it needs fuel to do it. So in here, I have uh, the water pool from last episode. And if I put down the aqueous accumulator right here, it should begin collecting water. The aqueous accumulator takes water from two nearby source blocks, that is uh, touching it, and starts to generate water from those two, like the pool does in itself. So right now I can actually take water out of the top of it and put it into the machines. So I'm going to put it into both the magma crucible, well, what? No. Oh, that one. Oh, not the magma crucible. I need to get it into here. Into the fluid transposer. That's it. So I'm going to make some uh, some tubes. Do I have? Yes, I do. I need to make some... I'll show you when it's done. I'm going to make some uh, fused quartz because with this you can make pressurized fluid conduit and with that you can transport uh, fluids. There's also the uh, thermal expansion con conduits but uh, I much rather have these because they, they just look neater I think. So yeah, pretty confused. And I also made the conduit binder. It's not very hard. It's binder composite, which is made from sand, clay, and gravel. So I'll just do this. Here we go. And uh, we'll just do this. I'll need the wrench for that. Uh, right click here, and there we go. Now the machines are being pumped water into, but we have to configure the machines to get water. I don't actually want the fluid transposer to get water into it. We just want so if I need water, I can just press here and it should get water. So that I think is pretty neat. I'll just do this. Because I don't want water into it. There. It's clean. So I want to get things from the right side which is the magma crucible. And I want the magma crucible to output to the left side which is into the fluid transposer. So I'll just put this back like so. Do some cleaning and uh, I'll just show and the recipe. So you put sandstone with resonant ender in a fluid transposer and it'll give you endstone. So I'm going to make some sandstone real quick. A piece of sandstone. And to make resonant ender. Um this so oh not that though. Well never mind that. Magma crucible. And a pearl. And we have resonant ender. And with that, we'll just put this in here. And you should see the recipe. And there we go, we have endstone. Neat. 
Oh, and I'll show the igneous extruder in a bit. Um, I'll take these two. Let's also take the ender lily. So, the ender lily is a flower that mostly grows in the end, but it can also be found in the dungeon chests. And the seed, it can grow on dirt, but it'll take up to a week in real time, something like that, for it to grow. And that's not ideal. So, endstone is a much better alternative because it grows a lot faster on endstone. You can actually make it grow even faster uh, than uh, endstone if you use a ender core, but that seems a little bit ridiculous to make a lot of. I'll rather just make endstone. So I'll show the igneous extruder before I end the episode. So I have the nether rack. In my inventory, and you're probably thinking, why would you need another rack? I'll show you, because another rack can be turned into lava. Also, obsidian and cobblestone can be turned into lava, but you can see down here the amount of RF you'll need to make the recipe. I need, is it 32,000? 110. 100,000, 20, no, 320,000 RF. How much do I have in here? 40. That's no good. So if I do this, and I should probably turn this off. Maybe I'm wrong with the numbers. I'm bad at numbers. One, ten, hundred, thousand, twenty. Yeah, well, th that's a hundred. Maybe this is four hundred. One, ten, hundred, thousand, ten. Well, I'm bad with numbers. This is four hundred thousand. So, yeah, now we have lava in the uh, Magma Crucible. Now we just need to configure this to take in from the bottom and from the back. You see the water is in the thing. I'll just set it to put out here. Also make this to put out at the top. You see all these color coding things. It shows what item slot goes where. So I'll just Take a chest, I know I have one. There we go. Put it there. Now the fluid transposer will output to this chest as well as the igneous extruder. So now I'm just going to do this. Now we have lava inside the extruder. Now just flip the lever and we'll have free obsidian. Well, free and free. Like it takes another rack and we'll get obsidian. Like, that's a really good trade-off. Like, super duper good trade-off. So yeah. I'll put some more netherrack into this. One piece of netherrack equals one piece of obsidian, so that's neat. I'll put this in here for now. And I'll flip the lever so we can get lots and lots of obsidian. So, this will be it for this time. Like, favorite, and subscribe for more videos. And remember what you demand, I shall serve. Bye bye!